in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step onboarding strategy that will not only guarantee you a 90% lifetime client retention rate, but will triple your chances to upsell customers within the first 30 days of commencing work with them. What I want you to get out of this video is this feeling of confidence. A feeling of confidence that if on average you're billing new clients, say a thousand per month, by the end of watching this episode, you know how to make that $1,300 to $1,500 very, very quickly. I'm going to share the little nitty gritty secrets being used by other AI agency owners that you are not going to find anywhere else on YouTube. These are closely guarded little tricks that they use to both dazzle customers and increase profitability and also increase the lifetime value of customers insanely fast. By the end of watching this video, you're going to master two frameworks. The first one's called the setting up the SIS framework, where you'll learn how to plant easy choices in your client's mind to increase revenue. The second is the performance acceleration strategy framework, which is designed to get client engagement through the roof and help you elevate that retention to 90% or even higher. Again, this is top secret stuff you are not going to find anywhere else. So stay tuned. But first, I want to help you understand what customer onboarding is and why is it so important. Okay, so onboarding is the meeting or a series of meetings you have with the client after they've signed a contract to buy products and services from your agency. During onboarding, your job is to implement and make sure your client understands a whole bunch of things, including what products and software that they've purchased from you, get training on any tools that you're providing them, understand who from your agency will be the key point of contact, key milestones to be expected, and what they will need to give you from their side of the business so that you can get to work. So stuff like access to their tech stack and workflows that they want to automate. Now there's one major problem with the term onboarding. It sounds super boring and I'm not even sure if the average business owner knows or understand what it's all about. So we actually don't want to call it that or even use that terminology in our emails and meeting invites. So what our top agency partners actually do is frame onboarding as a performance acceleration plan and they pitch it to clients as a necessary thing to get them on the path to explosive growth. So cut out the O word and use something that excites them. And how I want you to think about this whole process is as if you're a realtor who has just sold a home to this family and this family is about to take possession of their house and get the keys. And that mindset is super important because what do you do if you're the realtor in that situation? Your job is to make the client feel comfortable and personalize the experience because it's a pretty big transaction for many of these local businesses. So you want to make sure that that family or small business owner in this case feels welcome. You want to know all the names of the people from that local business. You want to know exactly what you've sold them really, really well. And the top performing agencies will tell you that this approach is so important for so many reasons, with the biggest one being that it's designed to help overcome any potential buyer remorse. Because buyer remorse leads to churn. Like imagine you're a small business owner who's just signed up for a $12,000 or $50,000 annual marketing contract. Now that is a lot of money. So if for any reason your client is having any doubts in their mind or they're asking themselves, oh my God, what have I done? What did I just sign up for? This is your moment to alleviate any of that doubt. Okay, so let's get into how you want to handle this performance acceleration framework step by step. And I'm going to give you a template and also bits of advice for your communication. Okay, so the first thing top agencies do after signing up a new client is send a congratulatory message and a personalized gift to their clients, depending on the size of the deal. Now, it's not necessary for each client, but if it's a really high value client, have a think about it. So one of our agency partners I know won a massive marketing contract with an iconic local restaurant chain in California. Now, during the meetings, um, the co-founders of this franchise shared how they plan to relaunch their breakfast menu around pancakes, but it was proving really difficult to find the right maple syrup. Now, it was just uh, uh, mentioned by chance during one of their meetings. Now, the agency owner picked up on that and ordered a special batch of different maple syrups from Canada and sent it as a welcome gift to that client. And in the letter, he connected those Californian franchise owners 
to that Canadian supplier. And they loved the maple syrup so much that they're now working together. So ideally, that's the kind of standard you want to set for your big deals, and that's the value you want to provide generally. But regardless of the size of the client, your communication needs to be on point for every single client. So after the contract's inked, you do that welcome letter, and then you frame your first meeting as the performance acceleration strategy workshop. Now that's as simple as saying something like, hey Mary, welcome aboard. We're excited to work with you and appreciate your business. We'd like to kick off our performance acceleration strategy workshop to help you achieve the following as quickly as possible. You put objective one, objective two, and objective three in there. Our goal is to ensure you and your team have all the tools and support necessary for success. Could you please let us know which key stakeholders from your organization should be involved in this discussion? And then you make an ask for supplementary information like uh, documents and workflows that you need access to. Now, this is basically the same thing as an onboarding meeting, but it's so much more impactful, right? You see, a lot of agencies have their clients no-show or continuously defer onboarding meetings because the way the agency frames these meetings doesn't come across as that valuable to the business owner. But when you put in your comms that these workshops are aimed at 10xing your leads, automating your processes so that you save $50,000 a year, generating 50 new reviews in 30 days, they suddenly want to show up. And how do you know their objectives? You would know all of this stuff from uh, your needs analysis and earlier sales conversations with your clients. Also, it's really important you ask them to bring in other stakeholders. Remember the video I made a while ago where I spoke about how I lost 90% of my work with a client because I didn't know other stakeholders at that business? Knowing other people, especially from the beginning, helps you mitigate that risk. And it also shows the impact that the work of your agency is having to other people who are important in your client's organization. Now, in between the time you and your team are preparing for these performance acceleration workshops, you want to make sure that you do your preparation so that you make an awesome impression. So if you're setting them up with an AI-powered chatbot, take the time to scrape their website data and build it for them ahead of the call. Turn up to a call showing them a draft or showing them that it's ready to go live. And all they need to do is give you the thumbs up and implement it. If you're setting them up with, for example, automated reputation management and social marketing software, connect their accounts beforehand and be prepared to show them how to use it. You want to spend most of your time showing the amazing things you're already doing for them on day one and teach them how to use your products and services. Now, at the start of this video, I mentioned the setting up the assist framework, which is something you're going to do either during these performance acceleration strategy calls or during your regular check-in meetings with your clients. So what one of our agency partners does, as an example, is set up clients with an AI-powered reputation management software, which makes it easy to monitor and respond to reviews instantly, and also asks customers, existing customers, for new reviews. So they set this stuff up. And ahead of the performance acceleration meeting, this AI agency starts getting all these new reviews for the business owner beforehand. They then tell the client, hey, look, we implemented this reputation management software and we've got all these new five-star reviews for you. They'll show the client how easy it is to reply to these reviews with instant AI-powered responses that they can use themselves. Now, here's the moment. Please don't be distracted and get ready to take notes. This agency then circles back to that client within 30 days and points out, hey, you haven't been responding to all these new reviews that we've gotten you. It's super important you do this because it sends Google all these signals to improve your SEO. And the client will usually say something like, hey, I'd love to, but I don't have time. Can you do it for me? And boom, the client sets up the assist and they then kick this goal with the ball that they sort of put in front of the net for themselves. So they end up telling the client, hey, we can do that for you. It's going to be an extra charge, though, because we need to have someone monitor these reviews and submit the responses on your behalf. It works like a charm every time. This agency has mastered this framework and they go from selling these $1,000 monthly revenue packages and just within three months, those packages go from $1,000 per month to $1,300 to $1,500 per month. 
and all to just monitor feedback and provide one-click AI-powered responses to Google reviews and social media posts, which they actually get a virtual assistant to take care of for a few bucks a week. The margin on that additional spend is insane. I want you to get a notepad right now and note down this agency's framework and try and think of more ways that you can set up the assist and drop it in the comments below. Let me know how else you can easily make the case for an upsell within the first couple of weeks so that other agencies can learn. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Another key element of the performance acceleration framework is establishing a solid 30, 60 and 90 day plan. So consider the initial impressions. What messages do clients receive on day one? What arrives in their mail? What happens in the first week? You should plan out the entire first 90 days and pinpoint key touch points and milestones. And you really want to design the experience so that clients think, wow, I've hired a fantastic agency. You also need to think about engineering quick wins and delivering results right from the first call or at least in the first two weeks. Now, uh, it's really important that you Keep in mind that if you're selling something like an SEO package, it can take about nine months to actually see results. And clients today are impatient and they're going to wonder, when will this stuff start working? Um, I'm spending a lot of money on this. So quick wins could include things like generating leads through an AI-powered chatbot, securing 50 new Google reviews by asking existing customers to leave new reviews, running quick digital ads and paid social media campaigns to drive traffic and leads, reactivating their database with a new offer. These quick wins build confidence and support long-term retention. You also need to think about developing a scalable system for reporting data to your clients. Because if you're manually gathering information from Facebook and Instagram and Google, and then personalizing it for each client, it just isn't feasible. Instead, you want to think about something like creating an executive report that provides an overview of the results achieved each month. This transparency reassures clients and addresses any concerns about communication, and it takes you a click to do. For high value clients, you can consider something extra. So for example, what some of our top agency partners do is send Loom videos to clients to give them an overview of, this is what we accomplished during the month. These are the upcoming campaigns. Here's a quick recap on some of these new tools that we've deployed and implemented for you. So taking that approach can really strengthen client relationships and reduce churn. So to summarize, don't call it client onboarding. Call it a performance acceleration strategy or something as exciting. Be prepared. Know your client and their objectives. Set up their systems and demonstrate quick wins. Have a strategy to set up the assist. Now I want to be crystal clear that this isn't about just ramming products down a business's throat. But if a client has a clear need and you can point it out to them and deliver on that need, you should explore it. It's a win-win. And don't forget to set up regular monthly automated reporting and consider personalized video content, especially for those high value clients. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments and like and subscribe for more content. Until next time.